Hey, how's she going, boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Boys, I'm glad you dropped in today. Hey, guess what? A maintenance video today. Oh, big surprise. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a maintenance man after all, right? I earn my living as a maintenance man, so it just sort of carries over. So we're going to do maintenance. And today's maintenance is on my air compressor. Yeah, my air compressor is 10 years old. Uh, I have to admit, I don't do maintenance on it very regular. I'm kind of slacking that, but it just sits over there in the corner and works, so I kind of forget about it. But you can't forget about your air compressor, it needs some love too. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get the air compressor out, set it on my pender lift, and we're going to do some maintenance. Let's get at her. So here's my compressor. It's a snap-on, as you can see. It's a 2 peak horsepower, 1.1 running horsepower compressor. It gives 4.1 uh, standard cubic feet per minute at uh, 90 psi. It has uh, a tank pressure gauge and it has two outlets with individual pressure gauges on each one. It has a uh, uh, high pressure relief here. It's a direct coupled. It runs at 3450 RPM so it's a noisy old beast. But it's direct coupled. But what I like about it is it's got a, a, a real crank case and it's filled with oil. So the crank and the connecting rod and everything for the piston it's in the oil bath so that helps it lubricate it better and keeps it cooler and lasts longer it's also a cast iron cylinder but it's a small cylinder so it, it takes a while to build that pressure but nevertheless it does build that pressure now I have to admit I don't do a lot of maintenance on my compressor uh, it sits in the corner there of the shop and it, it, I forget about it basically is what happens till I need it and every time I go to start it up I say oh man I need to do maintenance on that one of these days and I never do when I read through the manual, it says one of the things you should really check for every day is fluid in the tank because fluid in the tank will cause rust and rust is your enemy of course on a pressure vessel and uh, it's been it's been well over a year okay don't get mad at me I know what you're thinking but it's been well over you're probably closer to two years since I drained the fluid off of this tank and I just want you to see if you can hear this Do you hear that? Oh yeah, I got some fluid in my tank. There. to do that, right? This is the pressure relief valve here. Part of the finger holding that out. Open, there's a drain cock in the bottom here. I wanted to put a pan under it to catch the water, but it's only about a half inch off the floor. So I'm just going to open it and let it spray out all over my pender lift table. interesting because they have it open and there's nothing happening so that's telling me there's so much junk in there that it's totally plugged up. I'm letting this down because I'm going to tip this on its side so I can get a look at that uh, valve. Alright, so I've got my uh, compressor tipped over and I loosened this valve here. This is the drain valve and there's a little bit of water coming out of it, but not much and no air pressure, no air blow out of it. So I'm going to try and take this fitting right out because I'm afraid inside the tank is filled with sludge. <laughs> I'm going to try and take that fitting out. I have to say, it's nice to reach in and see the size on your tools right easy because I marked them with that red paint. But I still need to, to make several trips to get the right size. <laughs> Thank you. 
You know what, there's a little bit of sludge in that, but not much, eh? What's in the bottom of that? So, uh, this video is turning into a lesson on what happens to your compressor if you don't do regular maintenance. There's a film of sludge and rust built up at the bottom of this hole that plugged it off completely. I had to take my awl and punch a hole in it to get through to let the air out. So that's just what happens if you, uh, if you don't drain the water out of your tank on a regular basis. So, lesson learned for old Grampy here on this one. I'm going to stand this up now and let the water that was in the tank drain out. So what I'm going to do is take this uh, dashboard off here and then pull out the uh, pressure relief so I can allow some flow rate totally through the tank. Uh, man, <laughs> I'm telling you. Ah, my face is as red as this <laughs> compressor. <laughs> uh, embarrassing to see the state of that compressor. You'll never believe another maintenance video I make. I don't see any signs of rust up here anyhow. So I'm going to take this cowling off next. Check the air filter. It looks pretty dirty too. Boys, it would be nice to hit some air. Yeah, I could blow this out. <laughs> There's a couple of little set screws. One right there. And then one right here. So what I'm going to do is take this Allen bolt and this Allen bolt out to remove this manifold so I can get a little tiny set screw down in there. Oh yeah. The uh, stem that holds the air cleaner on has to come out as well. So that's the, now you lift this up, if you can see right under there, there's two other screws that hold a little shelf in there that's caught under the motor, so I have to take those out now. That piece is loose now, so this should turn up like that and gently pull back. Well, there's a little shelf. I got that out. <laughs> That's around the fan. There, look at that. Nothing but lovely. So maybe what I'm going to do is, I'm going to let this connection go here, and let this one go here, and try to take this valve out. Well, that was pretty loose. I don't think that should have been that loose, really. This one's loose. Okay, I'm going to try and let this one go now. Well, that was super loose too. Okay, around now is when I say, boy, the guy who owns this compressor sure doesn't take good care of it. <laughs> now I don't want to kink this pipe, but I want to get it out of there, so just pull it back. Now I'm going to see if I can get this fitting out of here. So this is just a check valve, eh? 
All right, so I think we've got all the water drained out of our tank, and uh, wouldn't it be lovely if we could see inside this tank, just see what condition the tank is in? Well, guess what? Enter technology. <laughs> I, I bought this a while ago, it's called an endoscope, and we're going to try and stick that in the tank and see what we can see. Now, I haven't had very good luck with this endoscope camera before. It's uh, the focal length on it is pretty short so it's hard to get it to focus on anything but it does have a light in it so we'll see what happens. Now will that fit in there? Oh yeah look at that. So you gotta it's, it's very hard to use this scope, I find. Seen something, I don't know what. It looks, uh... Oh boy. It looks like there's a lot of rust in there. Yes, sir. A lot of rust. All right. Enough about that. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to put the plug back in the bottom of this for now. But what I want to do is put an elbow in here so I can connect the hose to it. So it's easier to drain the fluid off. Because right now, when my tank is stood up straight, uh, that drain valve is way underneath the tank. So it's hard to get to, so I tend not to uh, drain it. But if, I'm thinking if the hose was out the side, it would be a simple matter. Just let the hose down, open it up, let it drain off. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do. And uh, I don't have the fittings to do that right yet. And then I'm going to drain and change the crankcase oil. So there's no sense me showing all that. Uh, I mean, that's, it's just like draining oil out of a small engine. And because I don't have those parts to put that drain on, I'm just going to put the drain back on. I'll put the compressor back together and, and uh, leave it like that. I think that'll be it for this maintenance. Hey, hey. so uh, I'm not a uh, ma uh, I'm not an air compressor maintenance expert. That's for sure. Oh man, so embarrassed about the condition of that compressor. But anyways, we got the water out of it. I'm going to spray some fluid film in there to try to coat that tank, and then in about another week or two, I'll let the air down again and then fill it up. With, or, or spray it with some more fluid film and I'll try to remember every day to drain the water out of it. So that's what all I can do. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this shows you that if you don't pay attention to your compressor, yeah, you'll know it. it you know. Anyways, enough said about that. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks a lot for dropping by. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget, thumbs up me and I love getting your comments. So load her up with comments what you think of my maintenance routine on my compressor. And if you have any ideas on, uh, you know, better things I could do to help my compressor work better. Okay. Take care, folks. We'll talk to you.